What's up guys, welcome back. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and if you're feeling chicken about cooking turkey this year, I've got just the recipe for you. Today I'll be showing you how to make this delicious rotisserie cilantro lime chicken. All corny jokes aside guys, this recipe is super easy and delicious and it's perfect if you're not having a big crowd over for Thanksgiving or if you just don't wanna fool with a turkey and you're opting for chicken, this is perfect. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, let's talk about these ingredients. Here we have a four pound organic free range young chicken. That's why you see sometimes you'll see that some of the chicken fat is a little yellow. That's based on the age of the chicken and the diet of the chicken. So this is free range organic a little bit smaller in size, four pounds. So that's what we're going with today. We got three limes. We got a quarter cup of soy sauce. We got the new dynamic duo, a little lemon bay and AP. If you don't have either of these, just use whatever your favorite seasonings are at home. We got some sweet chili sauce. It's going into our cilantro lime sauce, along with some smoked paprika, Italian seasoning, and of course, gotta have some cilantro. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna do is get our seasoning blend together. So I'm gonna get the party started with a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. That's just gonna amplify the chicken flavor. We're also gonna go in with about a half teaspoon or so of smoked paprika, one to two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. That's gonna add some nice herb flavor to the situation. If you wanna use fresh herbs, then go right ahead. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of my lemon bay seasoning. If you don't have this, guys, you use a little lemon pepper and some Cajun seasoning, whatever floats your boat. As always, you can use whatever seasonings you like. If you have a particular seasoning at home that you like on poultry, then grab that. And then we're going in with two teaspoons of my all-purpose seasoning. The last thing that we're gonna add is a little fresh lime zest, just to add a little pop of freshness, a little citrus flavor as well and it'll pair nicely with the sauce that we're gonna make that we get that lime flavor throughout. About a half teaspoon of that, quarter teaspoon, depending on how much you like lime. So we're gonna get in there with the spoon and give that a mix. You could also keep it real simple, guys, and just go down with a little salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, and some of the Italian seasoning and the smoked paprika as well. There we go, that's what we're looking like. Smells amazing. So once you've cleaned your bird, you wanna go ahead and make sure that it's extra dry. Make sure there's nothing in the cavity. If there's any neck or giblets or anything like that, you wanna get rid of it. There we go. Next up, we're gonna coat this, give it a little olive oil massage. That way our rub or seasoning sticks to it nicely. It's gonna help it brown up in the rotisserie as well. Nothing like some rotisserie chicken, guys. If you don't have a rotisserie, definitely check out this Toshiba product. It's absolutely amazing. I'm enjoying it. Go ahead and flip this over and show the other side the same love and attention with the olive oil rubbed down. So once you have it nicely coated in the olive oil, as you can see also, guys, I should probably call this out. We went ahead and tied it up with some butcher's twine. That's just gonna help it cook a little bit more evenly. You could actually leave the twine on that you get from the store if you want to, but we went, we went ahead and uh, tied this up just to make sure that it cooks evenly. I'm gonna lay down a initial layer of all-purpose seasoning and then hit it with the blend that we had just to make sure we're covering all our bases here. Just a nice light application. I like to start with the back side first because that's typically not the presentation side. So you don't have to go as crazy with your seasoning here. Now that we got the back season, we'll go ahead and flip this over. And this is where you wanna be a little bit more careful just to make sure you're getting a nice even coverage. That way you get even color as well. You can do this with Cornish hens also. This recipe is great with Cornish hens or a small chicken like we're doing today. And we got that seasoning blend that we're gonna top it off with. I like to add smoked paprika this, to this recipe because it gives it a little bit more of that almost charcoal chicken flavor, which is one of my favorites. When I lived in DC for a little while, the Peruvian chicken places always did a nice rotisserie charcoal chicken. And I kind of miss it. You don't really have a lot of that out here in Virginia Beach. So this is as close as I can get outside of putting it on the grill. 
There we go. And that is a perfectly seasoned bird, my friends, ready for the rotisserie. What I do recommend is to let this sit in the fridge for about an hour or two. That way the seasoning can really penetrate the meat. You can season the inside of the cavity as well, but give it a nice little bit of time to hang out and absorb all that flavor. My friends, for the fun part. Well, for us, not for Mr. Chicken here, but we're gonna take this and put it right through the cavity. You wanna push that in. All right, so the key guys is to make sure it's nice and tight. That way when it rotates, it's holding it together nicely. So we'll go ahead and tighten this up. And then we'll be ready to go right on into the oven. There we go. And this episode is sponsored by the Toshiba Speedy Toaster Oven. This bad boy has 1700 watts of powerful output and infrared heating technology to reduce your cooking time by up to 33.3% faster than the traditional toaster oven. And with the 360 rotisserie, you can cook a whole chicken with perfect texture, taste, and juiciness. And what I love most about this toaster oven is its large capacity and exceptional performance. You can really cook like a pro at home and make delicious rotisserie chicken like I'm making right here for you today. All right guys, so as you can see, we have our beautiful bird placed into the toaster oven. We got it set for 350 degrees. We're gonna cook this for about an hour, maybe an hour and 15, or until the chicken registers at least 165 degrees internal temperature. And this oven is super easy to use, guys. All you gotta do is turn the function until it hits rotisserie, like so. We got it set for an hour, 150 degrees, hit start, and you're good to go. One of the stars of the show here today is this delicious cilantro lime sauce. It's almost like a vinaigrette. We'll get the party started with one fourth cup of low sodium soy sauce. And then I like to add in about two to three limes, all the juice from two to three limes. Then we're going in with about a cup or so of cilantro. The secret ingredient is the sweet chili sauce. If you're not a fan of that, you can just use a little honey. But I like the element that it brings to this. I actually had this with Chef Tobias when I came over to his house for the very first time. He made me a potato dish that had this on there. And you guys know I had to steal the recipe from him. So this is a modified version of that. But we got our lime juice in here. Fresh is best guys, but use whatever you got. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in about a half cup or so of olive oil. And then we're gonna add that cilantro. Then I like to start with about a quarter cup of the sweet chili sauce and then we'll decide how much more we might need to add to it. But first you wanna start with maybe a couple teaspoons up to a quarter cup, a little salt and pepper, or in my case, a little all-purpose seasoning. And then we're gonna blend that up and give it a taste. So after you get it just right flavor-wise, we're gonna go ahead and add it to this squirt bottle for presentation purposes. Beautiful consistency on that cilantro lime sauce, guys. Definitely give this recipe a try if you're into those flavors. One of my favorites, perfect with potatoes. It's great on poultry, good on lamb as well. There you have it. Nice bright green color, would look really good on the plate. As you can see, this Toshiba oven on the rotisserie setting cooks an absolutely perfect bird. We just pulled this out, super easy to pull it out. Now it's time to carve it up. After you let it rest for about five more minutes, we're gonna go ahead and carve into this bad boy and plate it up. Here is carve up this breast. The wing is absolutely falling apart. That's probably gonna be a snack for your boy here in a minute. So I'm gonna cut right down the breastbone right here. And then I'm gonna take my knife and come in the other way as well. And just kind of remove the entire breast and try to get some slices so we can get a nice pretty presentation. That is the goal. There we go. Look at that, so moist. And I wanna go with larger slices. That's important because if you cut it too small, it'll start to dry out. Nice big pieces, try to keep the skin intact. That's where the magic's at. You can just see how juicy this chicken breast is. 
beautiful skin. There we go. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in here for a taste test. But first I gotta find my fork. Before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, my friends, we're gonna get us a little bit of the mashed potatoes into this situation also. Some of that sauce. What's up guys, welcome back. Thanksgiving is coming corner and if you're feeling chicken about cooking turkey this year, I've got just the rest of chicken. <laughs> a little play on words. 